guys, it's Ariel. So today I'm going to do like a how-to slash tutorial, how to tone your hair. I really didn't want to do this, but a lot of people requested it on my last couple of videos. And I guess I'm just going to do it because I'm toning my hair anyways today because it's starting to get a little yellow. And um, I'm not getting too fond of it. Especially the ends are a lot yellower than uh, usual. So... Oh, what else? So that's what we're gonna do. So there's a couple of ways you can tone your hair. You can do the permanent way or the unpermanent way. I like the, to do the rinse out kind. So right now I am going to be using the Matrix Color Prisms and this is for white blonde hair. Now since my hair is so yellow doesn't it make it white blonde so I'm pretty good on that case. Because I dyed my hair purple a couple of months ago. I like yeah, it was purple or lavender or something. I can't even remember. And I absolutely hated it. So then I put a gold toner on it, which made it turn green. And then I had to let that rinse out. And then after I got all that green out, then it's like a yellow now. Long story short, it's finally not blue or green or anything or white. It's just yellow. <laughs> and it's really not a bad yellow. Like It's like a normal blonde, like a normal bleach blonde. Okay, so I've been talking enough. So I'm going to talk about toning your hair. Toners usually range from different things, um, like your hair either needs to be wet, damp, semi, dry, almost dry. This one you need to do on clean, you can do it on damp or dry hair. I prefer um, to do it on whatever my hair is that day, like last time I did it when my hair was uh, semi dry, damp. Today I'm just doing it on my dry hair. And on the back of it, all it says is just apply to clean hair using um gloves and process for 15 to 30 minutes and it says do not shampoo but I kind of am um, like a stinker at this I shampoo my hair no matter what but I shampoo my hair why this is still in like I don't rinse it out shampoo I shampoo why the reason I do that is because I use purple shampoo and this stuff is so pigmented and it makes a huge huge difference last time I used this with this it kind of put like little like lavender streaks in my hair which I wasn't I didn't hate so hey and then when I'm all done, I use the fancy full rinse. A lot of people have used this before, so let's just get in the video and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pour this into my little Sally's bowl. It is like halfway empty, so I'm probably going to be using this whole thing. And yes, this is a tattoo, but it's like a removable tattoo. It is like a toe dolphins, so um, I don't have tattoos. I want to get one, but I'm so nervous. So I'm just squishing this in the bowl. Squishy, squishy, squish. And it's like, ugh, I'll kind of show you. It's like a really light, pale, like purpley color. But that's just, you know, purple cancels out yellow or blue cancels out yellow. One or the other. It, it cancels out yellow or orange hair. So, gosh, my country just came out if you heard that. And, um, I don't know. So I almost used the rest of it. I have like two more bottles of these. And it's about one ounce that's in here. And I'm just going to apply this to my whole head. And um, once I've done that, I'll come back and tell you what else we need to do after this. So I'm just applying this just to my roots right now. And then I'm going to pull it down to my ends. Because really that's where I need to concentrate at is my roots. Because that's where it's most yellow at. So wherever your hair is most yellow at or most, most, most orange at, you're going to want to apply it there. So I got about 30 minutes to process, so I want to talk a little bit about toners with you. A toner is more than just taking yellow or a brassy color out of your hair. You can use toners as gloss. You can use toners to take down and unlevel a color of a level that you do not like. You can use a toner just to add or apply some new color. Toners are good for almost everything. So the first thing I want to talk about is why I'm toning my hair. As we all know, I'm toning my hair to get the yellow and brassiness out of my hair. So I'm using my Matrix White Blonde color, and it also has a bit of gloss in it, so there is no developer, and I'll get a little bit into developers in a minute. Um, so it's just like, just an application color. You take it right out of the tube and put it on your hair, is what I'm using. This is not the color I'm using, but the same packaging as it tells you exactly what to do on the back. So anytime you're toning your hair or using a toner, always read the packaging. I don't care if you say, I've been doing my hair for years. A toner is always different from color. It's not going to be the same. Sometimes you don't need to add developer. Sometimes you don't need your hair to be dry. Sometimes you need your hair to be clean, but it needs to be dry. So there's a little, there's things that are a little different about toners. And usually toners are semi-permanent or um, rinse out. So I want to talk a little bit about other things you can do with toner. So say you dyed your hair at home or you went to a salon and dyed it and you got a Barbie blonde, a bleach blonde, and you absolutely hate it. 
what are you going to do? You're not going to walk around out of that salon and say, I hate my hair, this is horrible, this is too blonde, this is not what I wanted. You're going to ask them to tone your hair. Or if you're doing it yourself, you can tone your hair yourself. So don't think when you're walking out of the salon or doing it at home, you had this bright neon blonde hair, yellow pastel, and you hate it. And you want to go down. Say you want a, Mar a Mariah Carey blonde. I think she probably keeps her hair color about the same. I kind of looked up celebrities with a, like a medium brown to a dirty blonde. So say that. So the stylist is going to show you some swatches and say, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? If not, I don't know if she's just crazy or he. So they're going to tone your hair or you're going to tone it at home. So you're going to go to Sally's or wherever you go and they're going to tell you what toner you're going to need. And I really like the Wella colors. I think it's called Wella. And they're pretty sure they sell them at Sally's. That's what I usually tone my hair with. I know it's kind of cheating. But Mariah Carey, I think she has like this really nice caramely blonde. Yes, she does have highlights and lowlights. But we're just, we're focusing on her, um, her, her highlights and their tone to a nice color. So you just apply that to your hair. You rinse it out and you're no longer that beach blonde or you're that gorgeous glow with that Mariah Carey hair. I'm pretty sure her name's Mariah Carey. I'm just like, I went on Google and typed in dirty blonde and that's who popped up. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyways, so let on to the point. You can tone your hair if it's too blonde. Now as of well, a, another way you can use a toner is with developer. So say you bleached your hair and it's not as blonde as you want, but it's almost, almost there. You can use a toner that uses the developer and you can put 20 vol in there, 20 volume um, developer and tone your hair and that is going to help lift a little bit. It's not going to lift a whole, whole, whole bunch, but it is going to lift a little bit enough for you to get those to the next two shades you wanted and to have that, you know, that amazing blonde or that amazing caramel color you wanted. Um, as always, color never lifts color. So if you have previous color on your hair, it's not going to do much to you. So don't put color on color and think it's going to lift. It will lift your roots and that's how you get those ugly, ugly roots if you ever guys wondered why are my roots the, the amazing color I wanted or this total opposite color I wanted is because your roots are natural, they're virgin hair, so that's why they lift. I feel like I'm gambling on and I need to wait a couple more minutes for my toner to rinse out. And as always, stay tuned and I'll show you the final product and I might have some more um, crap to talk about. So I've just finished washing out all my toner and now I put a purple shampoo in my hair and I'm actually going to let my purple shampoo sit on my hair for about 10 minutes and I'm going to rinse it out. After I'm done rinsing it out, I think I put my uh, color rinse in my bedroom over there. So let me go check. I guess you guys can come with me. It's no biggie. Oh, I did. It's in here. Okay, so we're good. So I'm just going to... A apply my fancy full after I shampoo. If I stand over here, is it better lighting? I don't know. So <laughs> I'm going to let this process 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes I'm going to rinse my hair out in the shower. I'm going to put the fancy full in and I'm just going to let my hair ponder for a while and I'll blow dry. So I just hopped out of the shower and I haven't even uh, combed my hair yet, but I want to talk about some of the products that I use in my hair and the first thing is it's a 10 and it's for blonde and it is a almost like a light 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 toner, but it's a leave-in conditioner. It's really nice because it does have that purple tone to it. So it's going to help cancel out those yellow and brassy, uh, the brassiness in your hair. So this is a product you do want if you do have brassiness in your hair. And on the very back, it kind of explains the 10 things it does. And the first, the number one thing, it says it tones hair. So it says tones hair color, enhances brilliance, reduces fading, it sends vibrancy, adds shine. And it goes on, it detangles, UV protectant, um... As well as use their cuticle, so much stuff. It just goes on and on. And so I just kind of spray this all over my head. Now I don't really have oily hair, so I don't have to worry about getting it on my roots. So after I apply that, I also like every product I'm using right now is it's a 10. It's a 10 oil. I gave this away in my last giveaway. And it's the Miracle Plus Keratin. And I just put um, two squirts right in my hand. And I apply this just to mainly my ends just to refresh them up because I really like this product because it is a heat protectant and I usually forget to spray on a heat protectant when I'm flattering my hair but it has a couple things on the back it and it's for curly or straight hair so it 
really doesn't matter. It also has a couple things on the very back. Increases your elasticity. It is a heat protectant. It says right on it. It defines and maintains style, seals, spread ends, eliminates frizz, and I really stand by this product for eliminating frizz. A couple of these products do say they eliminate frizz. It says detangles and refrizz, um, de um, detangles and defrizzes. I really don't feel like this product does, but I know for a fact this product is, it does eliminate frizz. So if you're looking for a good product that eliminates frizz, definitely get your hands on this. And as well, if you have um, yellow or brassy tones in your hair, get yourself this leave-in conditioner. And it's really good before you jump in the pool. Kind of spray this all over because it's almost like a barrier between the water and your hair. So your hair already absorbs moisture. And since it's toner, it's going to help keep that green out of your hair as well. So I'm going to paint my nails and dry my hair. And after that, I will show you the final product. Um, so I finished doing my nails and my hair is still damp. So I took the blow dry on it for a couple seconds to dry it up a little more. I'm just going to stick it in a ponytail today. But as you can tell, my roots are a lot better, but my hair is still pretty damp, as you can see. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, message me. It's really hard to still comment back to people. I don't know what's wrong with it. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it. I try to get contacts. I want to tell you guys about that. I try to get contacts, but I can't put it in my eye. It makes me so nervous. So I'm stuck with my glasses. Alright, have a good one. It's been Ariel.